in place some new rule changes. In case you missed those, let's get into that. NBA Board of Governors puts this out. Trade deadline moved up 10 days. And the most important thing is you notice the changes in timeouts. Seven per all non-mandatory team timeouts, 75 seconds. So you don't have the 20s anymore. And then most importantly, maybe even the limit to two timeouts after the three-minute mark. Let's uh, let's talk from a coaching perspective. What's the impact of the changes that were made yesterday? You know, the, this this is key. Uh, I know the fans, you know, it's, it's to – help the flow of the game, to speed up the game, to have it not be so choppy, particularly at the end. But as a coach, uh, this has several implications. So let's go to the last three minutes of the game. You go from having three timeouts to now having two. And how many times when we're watching NBA games, you see, hey, team scores, give me a timeout, take it to half court, and a beautiful play is executed. You know, there's certain teams, the Celtics, um, uh, uh, the, the Rockets with, with Dan and Tony, uh, are known for their out of out of timeouts, sideline out of bounds plays. Well, there's going to be less emphasis on that. It's going to take some of the control away from the coach, and put a lot of decision making process in the game situations on the players. Which which, that's that's. I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but it's a change. The the other thing, not looking at the end of game situation, but looking at during the course of the game. So many coaches want to steal some rest for your star player, for your guy that's going to play high minutes either before, just before or just after a timeout. Mm -hmm. Now, with the reduced number of timeouts, you're going to have to have some maneuvering and change your, your substitution pattern as it relates to getting rest for key guys that you normally will shuttle them in and out around a timeout to get the extra so, so that what you know, ends up being one or two minutes on, on clock time in real time is, is extended because of the timeout. So those are some adjustments from a coaching standpoint that this rule is going to impact.